If you deliver online trainings and you still use screen sharing for your PowerPoint presentations, it's time to upgrade your game. Let me show you how. When you are in an online meeting such as Zoom and you want to share some content, you will typically click on the share screen button. Let's say I want to share this PowerPoint presentation. So I click on it. And from here, you may start your slideshow. You will immediately notice that you have lost all track of the meeting. You cannot see the participants, you cannot see the chat window, and your video is a small thumbnail in the corner of the window. There are several things we can do in Zoom itself to fix this, to make it easier for you and the participants. But I'm going to show you a better way of presentation. The first option is to use a feature available in Zoom itself called PowerPoint as a virtual background. To use this feature, click on share screen. From here, choose advanced, PowerPoint as virtual background and click on share. Navigate to the folder that has the PowerPoint presentation. Click on the right presentation, click open. The difference with this method is that we can see the participants, we can see the chat, we can see all the meeting controls and most importantly, I can resize my image to be bigger or smaller. You can easily navigate through the presentation by using this navigation keys to move forward or to move back. The first issue you will notice with this method is the camera. If there are movements in the camera, it looks very odd. However, if this is your only issue, it can be easily solved. Zoom uses the virtual background feature to create this scene. If you stand behind a blank wall or place a cloth, especially a green one, then this odd movements can be easily corrected by Zoom. Let me show you. As you can see, I have placed a green screen behind me. I can now go to video settings by clicking on this arrow sign, video settings, select backgrounds and filters and click I have a green screen. Click close. If I share the PowerPoint presentation now by clicking on share screen, PowerPoint as virtual background, you will see now that it looks very smooth. As we navigate through the slides, my video remains nice and consistent. If all you want to do is share PowerPoint presentations, this is a perfectly acceptable option. There are several limitations with this method. First of all, if your PowerPoint has any animations, they will not work because what Zoom does is it converts all the slides into images and strips all the animations from the slides. Secondly, this method only works for Zoom. If you have to give a training in Microsoft Teams or Google Meet, you're out of luck. And finally, if you want to share anything other than PowerPoint, such as a PDF file, you'll have to resort to screen sharing. The solution that I use for my online training is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a completely free software available for Windows, Mac, and even Linux. OBS Studio is very easy to use. There are plenty of YouTube tutorials on how to set up and configure the software on your PC, including videos on my own channel. The link is in the video description. If you want a software that is more user-friendly, you could consider something like ManyCam. However, ManyCam is a paid software. That is something you need to consider when you're choosing between the various options. As for me, the choice is very clear. It's OBS Studio. It's free and it has all the features that I need for my training. Software such as OBS Studio or ManyCam have the ability to combine audio and video elements to create a virtual camera. This virtual camera is available on your computer and by default to Zoom or to Microsoft Teams or to Google Meet as a web camera. In Zoom, you can switch your camera by selecting this arrow key and choosing from one of the available cameras. I created this video tutorial, link in the video description that shows you how you can combine PowerPoint and camera to create a more personalized presentation for the audience. Or this video where I combine video, images, text and a timing device to create a beautiful countdown timer. 
And how about this cool transparent whiteboard that allows you to write text in front of the camera image? With all these options available to create rich and engaging content that you can interact with your audience, there is no reason for you to hit that share screen button anymore in Zoom or in Microsoft Teams or any online platform. If you are an online trainer, please leave a comment explaining how you deliver your online training. And if there is any kind of tutorial that you would like me to create on Zoom or on OBS. I hope you found this video useful and I wish you all the best in your online training.